Hey guys, welcome back for another episode of the Crypto Forecast. So let's take a look at the price of Bitcoin. Uh, this is the BTC USD uh, daily candles. Uh, not a lot has happened for the past uh, several months, or at least for the past few months. Uh, I think since the beginning of August uh, that we had this top here. Uh, we rejected as expected. Uh, and then since then, we've been very much going sideways. So there was really nothing, uh, nothing really to do here since the middle of August until, uh, until almost the end of September. It was sideways movement, uh, low volatility, very difficult really to do anything here. Uh, I expected uh, at this point to break in the upside at the end of September or sometime in October. That's what I had been predicting uh, for the previous months before, because this was a continuation pattern. This is more like a continuation pattern than a descending triangle, really. So uh, the bias was in the upside, but it broke in the, in the downside. Uh, it happened sometimes. And then since we had this little capitulation here, Again, we've been going sideways uh, with very, very low volatility. And since then, since we uh, bottomed here at around $8,000, uh, I have been saying we either start to go up here at $8,000 uh, eventually, or we drop to uh, more or less $7,200. Uh, actually, to this uh, diagonal line here, I'm sure you have to remember if you've been watching my videos, I was uh, pointing to this. Uh, diagonal support line here uh, and I said well it depends how long it takes for the price to to touch the line because it's up trending so the longer it takes the higher the line uh, I was saying uh, this line is probably going to hold and bounce the price and it did like very very strongly I didn't even uh, think it was gonna bounce it that that fast I thought it would like maybe touch the line and stay here and maybe rounding a little bit and then start to go up but it, it was just like the touch of the line and it just shoot up. So we're almost at uh, $10,000 again, uh, not quite um, 9,400. So I think that's it guys. I mean, my bias has been bullish uh, the whole year since the bottom here, just like my bias was always bearish until we uh, had this capitulation here. I was bearish the whole 2018 and I've been bullish the whole 2019. And I, I continue to be bullish. Uh, I'm going to continue to call it in the upside every time unless something changes. But for now, we are in a very clear uptrend here. And one breakdown uh, doesn't change my, my general bias. Uh, just like these sharp bounces here didn't change my general bias uh, last year, a drop here, it's not going to change my bias. So I'm going to continue to call it in the upside every time. And if we have... Uh, you know, if I get it wrong one time because it breaks down instead of breaking uh, in the upside, oh well, it happens sometimes, but you know, my bias is going to be in the upside. So I think this time we're going to break in the upside. Now, I don't think it's going to happen very, very fast. I think it could take between one and three weeks because we have very strong resistance here at uh, 9,900 which is where the 20 week moving average is right now. So if I go to the weekly chart, uh, you can see the red uh, moving average is a 20 week moving average is a very, very significant moving average. I talk about uh, this moving average all the time. So I don't think the price is gonna get above it that easily. I think it's going to be rejecting here potentially for a few weeks. I would say between one and three weeks. Uh, so if I show my lines, you can see I have a horizontal line here that says 20 week MA uh, so that I can see this line in any time frame and I know where the 20 week moving average is, uh, whether I go to the daily candles or any other time frame. So I think this is the resistance that's going to take a little bit uh, to, to break. But I think we're going to be here stuck at um, between 9,000 and, and 9,000. Yeah, between nine and 10,000 until we break above the 20 week moving average. But my bias is that it will eventually uh, break above it. And who knows, maybe shoot up like bubble mode. Uh, I'm still thinking it's very possible. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised we go full on bubble mode uh, in the next few months because I see Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies are, get, are getting a lot of media attention now. Uh, I'm getting a lot of personal friends that I didn't talk in years, ask me about Bitcoin, ask me how to get into, into cryptocurrencies. 
you know, my close friends here sending me articles talking about Bitcoin, like on, on the European press. Like, I think it's getting a lot of media attention and this could cause another bubble. I wouldn't be surprised we go bubble mode um, in the next few months. We will see. But uh, my general bias is still bullish. Uh, and yeah, these drops don't change my bias. So for now, guys, I will uh, keep the forecast to one video per week uh, on YouTube because, yeah, there's not that much action going on. But uh, as soon as the action com uh, comes back, I will uh, come back to making videos all the time, just like I always did. I mean, I've been following these markets uh, for more than two years now. Uh, I was making videos all the time in 2017, all the time in 2018 until more or less uh, July 2018 and all this part here guys that uh, the volatility was expected to, to go down until capitulation. I went down to making only one video per week for all these months here since uh, more or less since June 2018 until the end of the year I was only making one video per week because really there's not much you can read here. And then as soon as we had capitulation I have been making videos all the time for the whole 2019 until this peak here. This was my last uh, sell signal at 12K or, th 12K or 13K in, uh, in the beginning of, yeah, somewhere in August. And then since then, I went down to making uh, one video per week again because there's really not that much apart from this, uh, from this drop down and, uh, and this pump here really the volatility is low so there's not much more i can do but if the action comes back which i i think it'll come back in the next few weeks uh then i'll come back to making videos all the time again so that's it for this week's video thank you very much for watching guys i really appreciate you and yeah i'll see you next week bye